we're really rallying to preserve funding for the Children's Hospital Graduate Medical Education Program because not only do we believe, we know it's critically important to our institution, Cincinnati Children's Hospital Medical Center. It's also important to our peers, the 50 other freestanding children's hospitals across the country. But most of all, it's really important to the children of America. So today there is a real possibility that this funding will be eliminated, threatening the pediatric workforce of the future. The immediate impact will be felt by institutions like ours, the children's hospitals, but I think we all know that the long-term impact will be felt by children and families across our country for years to come. A young lady who uh, had severe developmental delays early in her life, um, we later found out that it was because of uh, uh, um, an injury that had occurred to her when she was uh, still in utero long before birth. Um, she did not speak, she did not eat, she had many problems, but now I can tell you that two years later with the, uh, with the assets this hospital has and with the work that multiple residents, multiple people in training and many of the subspecialists we've drawn here with our, our funding and opportunities, she's walking, she's talking and showing great developmental strides. We do a lot for kids and we have a lot of opportunity to do things for kids, but I would challenge you know the people who make these decisions in Congress and our president and other people um, to think about not only the burden we would have on children if we were not uh, given the funding to work like we do, but also the burdens on the system as the people um, become adults and develop chronic medical problems. Don't take all the money out, leave it in there. We need it. We need it, and if you invest now, we will get the pediatricians. We will have a good product that doesn't take a week to do. It takes close to 13 to 17 years to do. If we don't do it now, trust me, there's no bailout money that is gonna save us 15 years from now. No other specialty provides the opportunity for, for preventive medicine, education, and promotion of safe and, safe and healthy practices like pediatrics. CCHMC's pediatric residency is in the business of training not just amazing doctors, but even better people. We see over 35,000 patients, 40% of which are seen by residents alone, and it's a 90% population that requires Medicaid for insurance. Cutting a CHGME funding would have devastating repercussions on our community and the, and the institutions whose primary objective include equipping pediatricians to be tomorrow's leaders. I think uh, what those two young people speak to in terms of caring and serving the community and how they're going to take their education for a greater public good, uh, I think is really the essence of this uh, modest public investment for an enormous and long-term public good.